John, have you ever seen the movie Twister? I think if we've done enough of these, you already know the answer is no. Yeah. Or if what? I have, it's been like 25 years and I remember. No. What did you watch as a child? I don't know, Pokemon? Is that all? Yeah, Nothing much. else? What did you watch in your teenage years? You never seen any of these movies like on TV? No, it was too much work. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Too much work. Most of the time I would just like read or play a game or whatever. Look, dude, the fact that, you know, story for everybody involved. The fact that when I got grounded, my ass got grounded outside. Because I spent too much time inside. My well, parents would say, you know what, you're grounded, go outside and play. That was a punishment for me. <laughs> and look where I am now. I'm still inside a house. It's just not mine. That's fair. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Now I'm in your house. I'm in your office. That's true. You are in my office. I can see everything. Well, we're going to watch Twister. Uh, if you are following us around at home, because I'm getting more professional as I do this, <gasps> I am at the exact point where you can finally see the Warner Brother Pictures logo that pops up and says the Time Warner Entertainment Company from the smoke fog shit. There's too much professionalism in here. We need to go back to the original form of just like being unorganized and terrible. I mean, we're still unorganized and terrible, but we're trying to make it good. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get it set up, and I'm going to tell everybody to go. So, right now, you can just see it coming out of the fog, and then I'm going to unpause, we're going to watch this movie in three, two, one, go! Because I like ourselves, I turned on the subtitles. Because we like ourselves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to get chairs and don't sound like shit. One day. But that day is not today. That's fair. Granted, my chair is... Although it's like, I think four years old now, it's finally starting to do the squeak. Yeah. It's not very loud, but it's like, when you sit in it every day, it tends to squeak a little. 1969? Oh, fuck. And it's June. Too hot. Need the January back. Birds chirping. Bridge. With a filter over the clouds. Trailing? Insects trail now? Apparently so. Probably this means so bad. You know what? I'm just gonna let you have that. <laughs> All by I, yourself. I got afraid because... I got uh, afraid. No, no, because... I just, I just hear John saying, you know what? And he's just like looking at his phone because he has ADHD like I do. Oh, hell yeah. And I thought he was going to look it up because he didn't know what the word meant. And I was like, John, please don't look that up or do this. <laughs> what does tri... No. <laughs> Actually, I think it's tripping, not trilling, but no. <laughs> trilling. Tornado warning! I'm from the south. I love Why how are you wearing a blue and white suit during like the nineteen sixties? Because they finally got Technicolor, so they were like, "Yo, we gotta show this shit off." <laughs> Fuck a Disney cartoon. We gotta show it real good. Get the blue tux. Ain't no way, y'all kids are gonna see filth on this one. It's time for us to go exercise. I'm too fat. Gotta get it. Look at all this pandemonium for a tornado. Oh, fuck, they left the dog. Yo, animal abuse. Get PETA. We're going to the storm cellar. We gotta go outside in order to do the storm cellar, which makes a lot of fucking sense. Are you just, like, leaving your fat wife behind? No, she's behind him. But also, it's not even raining, which is completely inaccurate. It's also way too late at night. Yeah. Because I'm like, I know storm. It can happen at dusk, but it's not going to happen that late. Nah. At night. What the fuck? There's storm cellar so far away. That's another thing. Why is it so far away? I get it. It's, it's built, trying to build up tension and everything. But there ain't no way this is like it's so loud and there's so much thundering and yet the wind there's no wind there's no rain 
fucking let the you dog in. Let the dog. Let the dog in. Okay, now shut the door. Lock the door. Oh yeah. There you go. We're gonna lock it all, and then something bad's gonna happen because of course it has to happen. Why is your storm cellar so bad? Alok is like, oh no, there's there's a door, and the door's going to fall off, but you're in the storm cellar, just be away from it, it's fine. Yeah. Like, there's nothing really for it to suck out of, it's just like a hole in the ground. Just get away from the door. He doesn't have to hold it. I gotta hold it! I'm oh done! God. It's still not raining! Why isn't it fucking raining?! Like, none of this is accurate. Yo, dog? Have you ever been through, like, a legit tornado when there's a storm cellar? I mean, I no, not through a storm cellar, but, like, I slept through that tornado we had a few years ago. Oh, that's true. Whee! Oh, no, there he goes! Despite the fact... Nothing that, moved. Yeah, nothing is moving. Only the one side of hinges, like, the lock broke. But that doesn't mean the hinges broke. Not even the food, like, went away. Which is why I'm saying not even the food went away. And this isn't real. This is someone else's house that they destroyed. There's a tractor in the tree. That's like supposed to be, I guess, like an F5, but... That is the fakest ass shit I've ever seen. I mean, this was, like, what, 1998, I think, is when this came out? So I know, but... This is really early CGI. Bruh, come on. At least, like, don't make it CGI. Just make it, like, a paper cup I and a stick. I think the tornado itself was is good. Oh, like when they make the tornado. Yeah, like the tornado effect in this movie is like something fairly groundbreaking because I think they made it look more realistic when they were doing it. Um, and then they also use like the giant wind machine. I do know the wind machine. Yeah. Actually. To uh, kind of like have it going. It is a look wind machine. Look at that! Look at that fucking computer! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, she's an old cat lady. Look at that. She has bro- She has. Orange tabbies, John. Yo. She has five cats, and they each, and between the five of them, they have one brain cell. Let's go. Because all orange tabbies share the same one brain cell. I'm just gonna turn this down because copyright is a bitch. Wow, we got some crop dusting plane, too. Yeah, crop dusting plane. That is functionally inaccurate. Why is there an oil rig over there? I mean, that is very accurate. The Midwest. No! I've never been, so I don't know. <laughs> from the Midwest, to be comment fair, below and tell me I'm wrong. To be fair, it should be a lot flatter. <laughs> I mean, the Midwest is essentially flat and corn. That's what's out there. Uh-huh. From Miles. She said she said in the paper... Oh, they're getting a divorce? <gasps> oh, no. Conflict. Or are they getting married? <laughs> and now it moves. And now it's fine. Why were you yelling on the outside when you could have just opened the door? Was he supposed to be a reveal? What the fuck they plugged into? Satellite, I guess. What's their power cable? It is kind of weird that you would have like a mobile station that you have to like take out and put somewhere in order to have it work properly. I like how there's lyrics, if I mistreat you, girl, I don't mean any harm. Like, no, I, don't, I sure don't mean no harm is how it goes. Oh, right. yeah, I see how it goes. I was just paraphrasing. Hey, Bugs like, Bunny. What? Bugs Bunny shirt. But you know, he's a young one because he has a backwards baseball cap. Oh, I see the shirt. Which is apparently how foreigners know Americans because we're the only ones who do that. Well, yeah, because, I don't know, we do everything backwards to us. <laughs> yes, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Barn burner. It's a GMC. <laughs> I 
Oh my god. Yeah, look at me. I got the shit in and grin. I can't believe they put me in this role. Usually I would be the anti-love interest and not the main character. What the hell is any of this happening? I think Joe's supposed to be his ex, and that's supposed to be his current fiance and her girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Well, I fell on my head. And just never recovered. Just in a wig. Hey, Bill, I think this is the same thing else. <laughs> Already need a nap. Yeah, hey Bill, I'm definitely not pissed right now. I'm okay. sorry, John. I could, like, dangle my keys in front of you. That would make you more pay attention to the <laughs> Nah, because, <laughs> like, I'm immune to caffeine. I chucked a coffee before this. And that's why I said I would dangle the keys in front of you. Mm, I was dangling the keys. I do shit, bro. What do you mean? Perpetual. Oh, see, so yeah, they are trying to get divorced. Yo. Okay, John, give your predictions. How do you think this relationship's going to go throughout the movie? Uh, I don't know. 50-50 in the shitter works out. You think you're going to do a 50-50 in the shitter? 50-50. It's either going to go in the shitter. Uh, or works out. Or it works out, yeah. Urgent urgency. Oh, see, he is getting married. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm getting married. Look at my suit. I could have given this to you the entire time, but I always held out hope. The weed was in the car. Wow. Look, cows. Oh, new ring. Put that shit back on. This is class ring. <laughs> Got my class ring. <laughs> we wish to page. No, because then it wouldn't extend the plot. <laughs> oh, good. The papers are left. Oh, oh there he goes. It's not good. And everything else. She looks like she was in a different movie. Which happy news? My life is great. What the fuck are those goggles? I don't know. Bro, put them on right or don't. <laughs> it's so great you're a weatherman <laughs> this oh, is why they broke up because he's a weatherman no because he has that tone oh my god look at his cell phone Jesus the one my dad had was even bigger back in the day his battery was about the size of that phone I don't know the only thing I distinctly remember is my dad having like one of those palm pilots you remember them yeah they were like popular like between where phones were dumb and when they got smartphones Oh, yeah. yeah, it was like a short period of time they were kind of cool to have a Palm Pilot and then phones just have to do them and then we never look back. Same thing with beepers. They were like, introducing the iPhone. 
Fuck everything you've ever used until now. Well, actually, I think it was BlackBerry who had the first smartphone, and then the iPhone kind of did it all, like, on a touchscreen. Look, Dorothy won. Yo. Who? Swear to God, I thought I said I, Dorothy. I mean, it says Dorothy won. Yeah, but, like, the one, it looks like an I. I understand Roman numerals, but, yeah. like, the... the Top and bottom is just like too stretched out. I, Dorothy, oh no, it's <laughs> gonna turn against them like I, Robot. <laughs> it's like it's announcing itself. I, Dorothy. Yay. Yeah, stream. Oh, fuck. What is it? Mm-hmm. Well, there's a big win. Mm-hmm. We put her up in the tornado. Releasing balls. <laughs> We're gonna go ball the tornado. Our sh- balls are gonna be all up in that twister. Shove your balls in the tornado. I honestly don't know how long it it does take currently for us to know about a tornado. You know what? Damn it, now I have Dingus Cat on my phone. (laughs) What's the usual amount of warning time for a tornado? Uh. Oh. Spoiler for the movie, I guess warning time is 10 to 15 minutes. Oh! We did it! Oh, yeah. Who the hell is well, that? We also, like, know what's going to happen, but I guess, like, it's, we don't know it's going to form, like, instantly. Yeah. You kind of know, like, a weather pattern and then it's not blowing up. I'm not even on shit! Take Look at that old laptop. Jesus. I love how... The I forget how... I haven't seen this movie in probably like a decade or more at this point. I just forget like how old everything looks. Because back in the day, this is like cutting edge, man. A decade ago. All right, nerd. Probably even longer, to be honest. It came out in the 90s, so it's probably like early 2000s. It's probably been two decades ago. You're old. So are you. You're one year older than me. That don't matter, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so you're... You were around the point where we didn't have laptops until we got them. What? Where you didn't have a laptop, and an old laptop was like this big. But then, I, then we got them, they were a lot smaller. Oh, no. It's just the way you said that was incredible. Yeah. We didn't get laptops until we got them. I know what I said. <laughs> I'm not admitting that their thing. I mean, at this oh. point, this fake her signature at the bottom hey, makes it a lot easier <laughs> because you signed the rest, though. Okay. Shut up. Let me hold you. Danger's fat. But then again, Max is also fat. Yeah. But he's just bulky because he's got all that. Well, I do one thing. They drank all the water in that one small cup. That's for being hyper. She does that. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> so he, he called my cat fat and put her down, and she just like ran and jumped off the wall. <laughs> she went to go do her exercises after you called her fat. And then she so wailed in the freaking end of the house. <laughs> yeah, she, no! She's like, no, I'm not fat. I'm not You're fat. fat. I kind of am, actually. You know, I, got that, I got that pudge going on. No, our new kid, Max, he's like essentially half squirrel. He's got a bushy ass tail. I love him. Zena for the money, all. Oh. 
So, if you had the instincts and the money, wouldn't you also be better than him? And couldn't you use the corporate money in order to do what you do faster and more and better? What? Basically, they're Those complaining that the other guy went corporate and he's just in it to make money and he doesn't really care about the science. But I'm like, if you, and then he's like, he doesn't have the instincts about the tornado. But if you had the instincts and also got the corporate <clears throat> backing, wouldn't he still just be better? Yeah. Who's chill? Fuck! Bro, he literally about to run people off the that's, road. Yeah, that is attempted murder right there. Yeah. His ass is going to jail. He almost killed like two people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, retire. Pens oil. Look at them old ass cars. Yeah, that's an old pens oil. Look at them shits. Oh yeah, the old car. That I mean, it's old, but it doesn't look that bad. If you have one of those nowadays, get them souped up, you work some money. Yeah, that's too much work for me. I don't want to do that. It's also really funny that, you know, even though they're kind of, like, new, a lot of the ones here are all oh, <laughs> dots, yeah, front, the, the squares. Fun fact, they just dropped what state this was in. Oh, what was it? Oklahoma. Makes sense. It was on the other, it was on, like, the restaurant building, wherever that is. So that's, like, the pen, it's, like, on the other side of the street. It's also yeah, on that shit. I think it, oh, yo. <laughs> Man one, man two. Fight. It's also really funny that he decided to make them like square because squares are like inherently weaker than a circle or a sphere is. Yeah. So it looks like more technological, but it's like funny that it's worse. Hmm. I think that's the point. He yeah. made the he made the idea and the green shirt guy stole it and made it worse. Yeah. All my guys? I thought it said all right guys. Let me enlighten your people. Now, Uh, I'm just a humble Mississippi uh, lawyer now, and I'm I'm sorry, little lass. I thought you was calling. (laughs) This is important. Wait. I thought you was calling. You can't quote me when I'm making shit up on the our channel. You're dumb. On purpose. Wait. <laughs> where's my... There it is. <laughs> Where, where's my dash? <laughs> yep. It is now immobilized. <laughs> it is immortalized forever. I'm sorry, little lass. I thought you was corn. <laughs> you don't know where that's from, do you? Hell no. It's from Futurama, you idiot. Damn it! This is literally a quote. I now know what it is. <laughs> it's the space. It's the space chicken lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. I was like going to be like the first part of that, and he did. I thought he was just corn. I'm just like I was quoting something, and John took me seriously. I forgot. Obviously, I haven't, I haven't seen the two new seasons of Futurama. It's on my bucket list, but every time I have the time to sit down, I forget. I like how they made it green. Because green is supposed to be a color like the sky turns you, it's supposed to be like a tornado. Gross. But it's not that color green, and it's obvious that it's just like a filter that they put over it. He comes in, he just stares I know what the they're sky. going for. I've seen the sky get that type of green, but it's like a more of a grayish green, and it is like that color green. That lady looks like she's just done. Oh, well, that's shit. what the weed was for. The weed? The weed. Oh, the weed. Yeah, the weed. She's growing the weed and then she's making tornadoes and she's singing uh, Can You Take Me Higher by Creed. I think that was out by this time. Now I'm curious. When was the song Can You Take Me Higher by Creed out? It's just called Higher by Creed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know music like I don't know movies. Yeah. August 31st, 1999. Damn it, it was after this. When was the movie Twister released? It's like uh, July or August uh, 1998. May 10th, 1996. Really? Yeah. May? May. I thought it, was, I thought it came out a lot, earlier, a lot later, but yeah, 95. Uh, Nick, 
It was supposed to be released on May 17th, 1996. Warner eventually made the decision to push forward its release date to May 10th in order to avoid competition with Paramount's Mission Impossible two weeks later. Was it the first Mission Impossible? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was, I thought it was later because it was like summer blockbuster. Because this is like one of the precursors to that. Like that, this, Independence Day, uh, and like Mission Impossible. There's some other like summer blockbusters. I was going to say, god damn, it better be the first Mission Impossible if it was 1996. Uh, that's true. Yeah. That's so I guess long ago. I guess technically was out before then. It's it like, also a summer blockbuster. What the fuck was that, 28 years ago? <sighs> yeah. Jesus H. When were you born? 96? 98? 91. 91? Oh, yeah. 96? Boy? <laughs> That's right. I like how I'm one year younger than you, and you're like, what are you born, 96? <laughs> what do you mean? What were those first, like, five years? They oh. ain't shit. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you were, like, incubating in your cocoon. <laughs> no, that was from... Hot Pit Barbecue. Di- yeah, Hot Pit Barbecue. That was from the day I was born to yesterday. It was just in the cocoon. There was no in-between. Legit, though, we do have, like, a store, and I think their old logo kind of looked like that. Hot Pit Barbecue Pig logo. We got some pretty good barbecue. Uh-huh. Not up on the prices, but it's still pretty good. Never been there. I know, you never been there. Oh, that looked like a McDonald's cup. I got real fucked up for a second. No, that's I was like, like the old school, like, coffee 90s yeah. white cups. Uh, also, if it was in blue, purple, and teal on the cup, then it's go to. The blue, purple, teal is, yeah, that's like, that's like, like, later 90s. That's like 98 going into, like, the 2000s. That was that the, time. that was the goaded time. Yeah. What do you mean? That was when, uh, Taco Bell had toys. Uh, I was gonna say when Taco Bell was, like, mostly neon. Well, yeah, Taco Bell had a lot of the neon and the cool stuff, and they also had, like, kids' toys. Yeah. Uh, I could get, like, the cool drinking straws with, like, the little eyeballs. Yo, drinking straw. I wanna know, uh, 90s Taco Bell toys. I want to see what the fuck they got. Oh, shit, they had the little fucking dumbass Taco Bell chihuahua-looking thing. Yeah, they had those for... They had those plushes-looking... That was probably closer to 2000. Oh, Because that was yeah. around the time... I can't remember if it was Taco Bell or somewhere else that had uh, the Godzilla toys. I don't think McDonald's had them. I think it was either Burger King or Taco Bell that did. I know they had, like, the Taco Bell show while I did the here, but the desert, desert thing from the commercial. There's also the yellow cat and blue dog thing. What? Hang on. Uh, yellow cat. Yellow cat and blue dog. As soon as I show you, you might recognize it. Taco Bell toy. Hey, this thing. Uh, I think I... Nacho and Dog cartoon. Yo, Nacho and Dog. I think I vaguely remember that, but... I think it was like a a cartoon. Uh... She didn't marry your penis? What? Maybe he has a nice penis, I don't know. She didn't marry your penis. Okay, now that I know the name. Nacho... And dog. Oh, I think they were uh, cartoon duo. You occasionally appear in Toon World. What the hell is that? Toon World is a car that Pegasus uses to use his Toon cars. You know what? God damn it. Not sure what to do. Something, something college. Something state college. Something state college. Yeah, it's what it says on the back end there. On it. It's a little logo they put on the side of their truck. Is she a student? <laughs> Are you dating your therapist? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, the Google search ended in finding nothing about what the hell Toon World is in the re- in the context of Nacho and Dog. So, if anyone knows, tell me, because, I don't know, what do you need a therapist for? I don't know. Maybe they have depression? <gasps> they can't finish! 
So it's not uh, the it's a reptile dysfunction and not uh, premature ejaculation. But if they can't finish, then they didn't. Uh, and now he's realizing what's happening. But he's still not realizing what's happening. No. Oh. Again, he should realize what's happening as soon as he goes off the lawn. Yeah. As soon as he gets into the grass, you're like, oh, fuck. They probably didn't have the little bumpers on the side of the road yet. I don't well, no, I don't even see those. I'm, I mean, even though technically it gets a little bit rougher on the side. I'm talking about when he gets into the grass. Yeah. <laughs> like, you ha- if you're doing it like this and you get over to the side, it jerks. And you have to, like, purposely try not to do it. Yeah, she's <coughs> trying to figure out why the hell her eyebrows yeah, look like that tadpoles. Back, the state. I can't read exactly what it says. Does that say state council? No, it says something state college. Oh. This is like Oklahoma down here. But it's like something <laughs> state college. Oh, like a twister! Whoa! Uh, I don't know, it has like a Native American head. Uh, it could be Cameron University? It looks like it starts with an M. But it's something state college, not university. I almost became a university by this point. You know, we we'll probably see it in the credits if anything. Truing. Truancy. Now, see, he's an actor that could probably play Gambit where I could actually understand and not, you know, hate him. Gambit? Yeah. And they, uh,. Uh, Deadpool and uh, Wolverine. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Shannon Tatum is a, uh, the dude. Uh, he plays Gambit in there. Oh. For a lot of other, like, you know. Oh, we're gonna make jokes about things that are happening. Oh, it's the Muskogee State College. Muskogee State College, that's what it is. That is the team of the Warriors. What do you think? Yeah. Um, do, they, do they have changed that name? Was it the Warriors before? Uh, Stillwater is where Bryce Drummond's college, Oklahoma State University, is uh, located. That's not right. Uh, on the sides of words, Muskogee State College, Oklahoma, are visible. The school logo is vil- visible on the driver's side board. Right. You ready to see the point up, John? You ready sure. to see these, ni- these 1996 graphics? Can't wait. If it's like most other 90s movies, it's going to be ass. I mean, Jurassic Park was good, but they also put it in, you know, at night. That was also a movie that had such a higher budget than this. Uh, are you sure? I mean, it was a Lucasfilm. Was it not? Yeah, but that came out in, what, 94? 93, I thought. Yeah, you're probably, you're probably right around 93. But, like, they had the Star Wars budget they could pull from. Ew! Star Wars didn't have that big of a budget. And, well, the Star Wars didn't know, but the revenue they picked up from it let them expand. Well, yeah, but you still are not going to, like, pour everything into it. And <laughs> pour it all into Twister. <coughs> Twister movie budget. $92 million. Yeah. Now look at a Jurassic Park budget. Uh, so Twister, before I go there, made $196 million in the U.S. and a further $79 million in international release. Cool. So it like about double, triple its money. Not bad. Jurassic Park movie budget. Jurassic... Alright, god damn it. There's no time. Hit the button. So I found Jurassic Park's budget. Yeah. 63 million. <laughs> so Jurassic Park budget was below this movie. Below. Uh-huh. Which is and sad. how much did they make? Uh let's find out. Revenue. Alright. Oh, hang on. No, that's all of them together. Yeah, that's the first one. Uh, so, the original number I was going to give you was six billion, <laughs> which is inaccurate because that's all of them together. Yeah. Uh, Jurassic Park 1 made 914 million worldwide. Yeah. 
And that's in like what? Man, for, that's like what? Ninety three. Jurassic Park, nineteen ninety three. Yeah. yeah. So that's like half a billion dollars in nineteen ninety three. Yeah. Which is a lot. Would be a lot more spending power now. Well, to make the equivalent would be a lot more now. Because that was bad when tickets were like five bucks. Right. Popcorn was only six. There it goes. Inflation calculator. <laughs> 93 to 2004. There's your truck. Oh! That was a good effect. Dead. That was a nice practical effect where they dropped that from a thing. Look at that. Oh, fuck. Uh, nine hundred fourteen million dollars from nineteen ninety three today would be worth one billion nine hundred eighty nine million dollars or nine hundred eighty nine million five hundred forty nine thousand eight hundred and six dollars and eighty six cents. That's one of the things that is a mild pet peeve of mine, and people are like, "Oh, this movie made a, made more money than the original." I'm like, "Well, you have that's because movie tickets are twenty dollars a piece now. Yeah. Well, fifteen to twenty. Unless you went to, and there's like, what, maybe $5 dollar, dollar movie theaters in the entire state? And they're not really in uh, count or including a lot of people who are doing it, like, from home. Or just waiting a week until it, like, pops onto Netflix and all that fun shit. Was she always wearing a pantsuit? Um, that is more of a denim thing, I believe. And I think it's just because it got colored like that. Yeah. I tend to wake up at 5 in the morning in my jeans, jean shirt, and jean jacket. With my mustache. That's actual harassment. Haha, <laughs> he got haggled. Oh, I thought she was just like angrily kicking the window. Nope. I like how our, like, legit way to study tornadoes wasn't, let's fly a truck and a bunch of small things in it, so much as it was, let's make something really, really heavy and drive it into a smaller one. Let's go. <laughs> let's make, like, a tank that's, like, three times as heavy. And just drive it into the middle of it, and we're just going to use that. What? I was looking at this. What? Is that a program you downloaded? It's a program that I need that came with. I think I downloaded it, but it also oh, that like, came comes with the mixer. With, yeah, it kind of yeah, it came with, came with that mixer. Yeah. Ah, fuck. What? How much was the mixer? That one I got. I think the mixer was like around fifty or so, and then I think the microphone was around eighty. I don't know why the fuck I was thinking that thing was like four hundred dollars, and I was like, damn, I'm not gonna be able to afford that. I mean, fifty bucks. Shit, I got it used. Uh, I got it used like several years ago. I mean, just for a use thing. I mean, we, we're not we're not gonna use a fucking like road microphone or anything like that. Just get something decent, like get a condenser mic. Get one. Get um. I can't think of what the word of it is now. A mixer. Get, yeah, get like the mixer for it, so you can actually have because that's like turns the analog signal into a digital signal. Our budget is low. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I think you already have a micro uh, microwave. Uh, microwave. A microwave. A microphone stand. Yeah, I got all that. I just don't have the arm anymore. Oh uh, yeah, you have the you have the. I mean, to be fair, these snowballs aren't that bad. Nah, I have like a tripod that it sits on, and that's yeah. about it. Which, once I reorganize everything on the desk, hopefully it'll uh, sit easier. Because for another twister in the back. Oh, how does that keep happening? What twisters? There's no way that like 20 minutes later they're like, oh, new twister. Let's go get it. Um. So essentially, the way that this is working is it's because they're in the Midwest, so they don't have to do this like we do here. It's just all flat, and when a storm comes by, it can do multiple twisters. Mm. So they're essentially just kind of driving around from one position to another. Uh, in real life, you're probably going to be driving like an hour or so, because you're kind of chasing the storm and like watching it from a distance. Ah. So it takes a little bit longer than kind of what they're showing here, 
But you can kind of see it come out, see the storm pop up, and then just kind of follow it going forward, follow it going forward, because it throws a lot of smaller ones like this. I love it. Probably even be smaller than that one. That one looks like it might be like a two, like an F two. Um, but I believe like you usually gonna see probably like a one, like an F one, F zero. But technically nowadays it's EF because it's uh, an elevator that changed the uh, the change the uh, formulation for it because of uh, one of the F fives that came up. Funnily enough, the uh, the last F five and our last EF five hit the same town. What? <laughs> Uh, so you know what an F5 is, right? Nope. <laughs> bro, I, like I said, I was in the incubator. I'm in a cave. Well, no, bro. I mean, this is just, like, generally, like, how we ju- judge tornadoes. In the cave, so, bro. So, tornado, the tornado system goes from, like, an F0, well, the old one goes from F0 to F5. Uh, F0 is, like, uh, mild damage, and then it kind of goes up from there. F5 is extremely rare, and then, like, happens... Uh, but when it does, it's basically where you the complete destruction. Mm-hmm. Like, the house, or after she got, you know, the house and everything was disappeared, that looked like it was probably around, like, F5 damage. I still don't believe it destroyed, uh, that the tractor got to be in the tree and just, like, stayed I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, it might not stay, but I mean, there probably has been tractors and trees. But, um, so there's, like, a storm... That hit the town. It's a town in Oklahoma. I forget the exact town name. It's this one. I think it is. Is it in Oklahoma? I think it's in Oklahoma. Yo. But uh, the last F5 hit, and then it was, like, so big, it had, we, like, had to, like, readjust it, like, or we got dead more data. So we, like, had to, like, readjust everything, because it was either, um... It, it, there was like a, a degree of error, right? So it gave like what it, what the um, the power level of it was, was like on the edge, but within the margin of error for going above the quote unquote maximum for one of the uh, the EFs. Uh, so let's see, <coughs> F five. See, look at that. We're all learning something when we watch these videos together. Yeah. <laughs> um, where is this other transportation? Meanwhile, my ADD shit's so bad. I'm just like, I'm hearing it, and it's sticking in there, and then immediately falling out yeah, the other side. It's a scale. So, uh, F0 is under 73 miles an hour. <clears throat> F5 is uh, 261 to 318 uh, miles per hour. Um, so 318 miles per hour, and then there's like a new one where it's like an EF5, or EF, the EF scale. It's an EF. <coughs> uh, they have this. Oh, Enhance uh, Vegeta Scale. That's the, e- that's the EF scale that we're currently using. Vegeta Scale? And that came into effect in February 2007. Ooh, water cyclone. Oh, yeah, the old water twister. Why were there two? <coughs> it, they're twins. Twin twisters? Yeah, they're twins. They split up. They're twins. Oh. Do I still have to discard a card for cost? <laughs> Twin twisters? Yeah, yeah. you do. <laughs> sister sisters. twister? Yeah, we have sisters. They split up. Yeah. You know what's even more fucked up about how this is being done? What? They went over a bridge. Yeah. There were there was one on both sides of the bridge. Cow. Cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good effect for this movie. Cow. Cow. So. So far, I have seen it go. One twister on each side to two twisters on one side, back to two on each side. Then two on the one side again, and now we're back to the two on each side of the fucking Well, you know, the twisters, they have to be like a movie monster. It can't be, like, real, realistic. It has to be a movie monster. And now they're back on that side! Yeah. 
It's also kind of funny because, like you said, they go over like multiple bridges and now they're still by water. Right? Whee! Oh no, mud! I'm pretty sure that that split was from the trailer as well. Or one that they used for it. I believe it. Yo, it's getting the car wash treatment. It's getting the dual brushes on the side. Oh, now there's three. Oh, okay. D -d 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 sure. Oh, we just dissipated. It's all gone now. All right. Car's fine. Okay, that's the European one under the Toro scale. Toros? Toro. Yeah, there's a Toro scale from T0 to T11. Yeah, it looks like that's also in the UK. So I think there's one in, the, in uh, Europe and then one for the UK. Europe one is at the international uh, Fujita scale. Uh, <clears throat> but there's like earlier ones. I need to go like right into the end. It's like in the nineties, I want to say, for the last. Is he not okay? I'm not a weatherman. I you said are. now. No, you didn't. You got horny for a tornado. You, you dick. That shit ain't no metaphor. What do you mean? More. It's uh, more Oklahoma. Ah. So, uh, May 3rd, 1999. Uh, United States. Uh, more Oklahoma. This was the last time that they use the uh, the old uh, F5 scale. Uh, do they have how big it was? They're hungry, apparently. Oh, oh yeah, so it was uh, the radar recorded winds up to 302 miles an hour, plus or minus 22. Uh, miles per hour, which is the highest wind speed ever measured on Earth. Because and that uh, plus or minus twenty two can put it over the initial level of like what the scale actually was supposed to be. Oh yeah, it was a uh, uh, what was it? No, that's a uh, miles per hour. Uh, estimate F yeah F five is estimated to have uh, up to two hundred and sixty one miles an hour as like a maximum. Me right now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Just sit in there completely dumbfounded. <laughs> and none of that information was retained. Steak and eggs! Why do they all want steak and eggs? Uh, because they're from Oklahoma or living in Oklahoma and that's what people there eat. I mean, I get it. Steak and eggs is great. But why is it like we see your aunt Immediate steak and eggs, me damn it. Oh, yeah, it's comfort food, and grandma aunt is gonna feed everybody. God, that sounds like too much work. Look out, look out, giant ass steak, bam! <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's what it was. Uh, eight, eight, nine. <laughs> They're dead! Yeah, so three hundred, so three hundred eighteen miles per hour is the uh, maximum of the uh, Fujita scale, and the one <clears throat> from Moore, Oklahoma, was uh, the highest recording like possible. Is like three ninety or three twenty one. So it's like a few a few MPHs above that, which is where we get the enhanced scale from, because after we got that storm's data. It basically changed how we see tornadoes, so we adjusted the maximums and the scales. And it's like, uh, what is it? It's like weaker ones could do more damage than what we originally thought, or ones that lower with less wind could do more damage than what we thought. I've had a thought a couple of times that, like, yeah, I should probably go back to school. I just sat through that. 
I don't know what the fuck you just said. I mean, to be fair, I'm, very, I'm being <laughs> fairly rambling and giving you information I've already absorbed and just like. I am, on, remember, I, I am on overload. That was five minutes and my brain's like, whoa, whoa, too much, too much. <laughs> so the last, so basically there was an F5 tornado that hit more Oklahoma in 1996, uh, right? I did say 1996. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, 1999. So it hit Oklahoma, uh, more Oklahoma in 1999, the Fujika scale, so the F5. Five stands for Fujika. So that maximum was 318, but the storm itself could possibly be as high as like 300 and like like low 20s, essentially. Like 322, 323, 324, because of the, the uh, m- margin for error, essentially. So it was so big, it could have broken the, sc- broken the actual scale that we used to measure tornadoes. Then we changed it to the EF scale, which is the enhanced Fujika scale. And the last one, uh, EF5 uh, tornado that we ever had um, was from May 20th, 2013, (laughs) which also hit more Oklahoma. Uh, I think it actually had less people die as well. Because the first one, they they did actually learn from that first one. So they've had, like, less people die. Um, there was also, like, a weatherman that told people to evacuate. And the tornado, like, at the last moment, like, went away from the, like, 5 p.m. traffic. So a lot less people died than what could have died. If you made it through all of that, type tornado. In the <laughs> I need it. Just type tornado. I don't know. <laughs> tornado! Yeah, tornado. Yeah, type tornado. It's like tomater, but without tornado. the tub. I mean, we're just getting, like, backstory with them hanging out with parents. So let me give you a freaking history <laughs> lesson about how the last EF, uh, last, like, Category 5 uh, tornadoes, last... Uh, EF5 and the last F5 hit the same fucking town. Ask me how much of that I retained. None of it. <laughs> uh, John, what is the maximum of the Fujika scale? What the fuck is that? <laughs> the F scale. Bro, I don't remember. <laughs> what is an F5? A plane? I mean, technically, that is also a plane. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Bro, we ain't going through that again. <laughs> what do you mean? Let me put it this way. <laughs> you rattled on me for an, my ADHD. An EF5 is essentially a wall of death. That's what it is. It's a big wind. They're usually like a mile long. There's a whole bunch of other winds and storms around it as well. So what you're telling me is if I wanted to jump into it, it'd be based. I mean, you get picked up and flown around, and something inside the tornado would probably hit you. Let's go. You're going to be like that cow, John. Yeah, I'm going to be there. Wee! Moo! I don't know why John's mooing all of a sudden when he's in a tornado. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll call you back. We got cows, and also men mooing as cows in a tornado. I mean, to be fair, while we sit here and hang out and watch this movie, uh, there is a hurricane that's coming for us, Sean. Because we made fun of those people who want to evacuate, John, we're going to get hit by a hurricane. Dude, if it's anything like the last tornado we had here, hurricane? I'm going to fall asleep. No, we had the tornado like six years ago, right? No, oh, well, this is a hurricane and a tornado. They're different. Yeah, I'll sleep through it either way. I don't know. One's a, one's a storm that lasts a long time. The other one, one is like from like a big storm front. And the other one is from also a storm front, but also different. <coughs> Even though they both rotate. Well, technically the Earth rotates, causing them to rotate. I love how she couldn't just, like, wait there. She's like, I was terrified, but I'm going back in. Eat and run, and I used your shower. What? Uh, she <laughs> she made a steak and basically gave him a steak to go. Oh, dog. dog! That's a different dog. Ain't no way that's the same fucking well, no, dog. No, that's his dog. Her oh. dog would be dead by now. Yeah, her dog's lying. That's dead. Because she's like, I don't know, in her 
20, well, I don't know how old the actress is. She looks like she's in her 30s. She's probably supposed to be in her 30s. I don't know how old she actually is, because I know what Hollywood does. We'll make an 80-year-old look like she's 20. Well, no, they usually have like, yeah, a lot younger women play roles to older men. Which is, uh, <laughs> Wakita. It should be more Oklahoma, you idiots. Actually, the thing about Wakita also get hit, get hit by uh, tornadoes pretty regularly. That is what the Midwest looks like, John. Dude, that's nothing what... but fucking corn, and it's like a grid pattern. Nah, fuck that. That's what, like, 90% of North Carolina looks like. I don't know if it's like a grid pattern like that, is it? It's not, but it's all farm and I hate it. Yeah, it's farmland. Yeah. Well, you say North Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina. I like South Carolina because they have fireworks and they also have, like, the beach. Bro, Virginia has fireworks. We don't have the good fireworks, though. I don't like fireworks anyways. <laughs> you don't like why, loud. Uh, so because I'm half deaf, it's like a weird side effect when I was born with an ear infection, loud noises rattle my eardrum and I mean, actually make me physically sick. Oh, okay. I mean, they still rattle mine, too. Yeah. But, like, they do it in such a way that they're like, you're fucked now! Yeah, it probably messes with, like, your inner sense of balance. Yeah. Uh, so it makes you, like, it makes you dizzy and sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, we on the toilet afterwards. Let's go. That's like me. I can be on a boat, like, all day. And I could be out in the water and all that. Some people can't do it. Uh, I'm fine. Yo, I, I fuck with boats. I love boats. I love being out in the water and everything. I can be in the back. I can't go around in a circle. Because, uh, I, you know, oh, let's go ride the fun teacup ride at, like, the little state fair. Or at this little, like, uh, this little fairground. And, oh, yeah, let's, let's swing ourselves around in a circle. And we do it too much. And I get dizzy. And I just throw up. I, I can't handle the circle. Based. I can't handle making myself dizzy. I love the how they water, I'm good. They had to be given permission to be on someone's like legit farm to drive through it. I mean, yeah, somebody else's land, you can get shot. Even right. if there is a tornado. You fuck up my crops, you're paying for it! I mean, it is true, yeah. I mean, Yo, we in the corn. <laughs> oh no, look out for the children of the corn, John. Ooh! Well, hello, everybody else. I mean, to be fair, you could have kind of seen them from that position. I could see them from that position. Bro, corn, though. Corn is is tall, but it's not tall that tall where you can't see over that. Keep this channel clear. Bag dirt. No, I'm there in front of them. I like how they had to do that. Like, okay, we're moving to the next scene. You guys gotta be behind by like twenty feet and yeah, just yeah, stay behind them. This point. Cause they're gonna get fucked up and then it's your turn to swoop in, you're gonna win this one. No turn signals, no nothing. Shit. Boss! Yep. I also love the difference of, like, they've got all the black vans and the shit. And these guys, they have a bus. I mean, it was 1996. He, he's like, I drive the black van. I drive the bus. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a white van. It is. Candy on the side of it. That laptop is dirty as shit. Yeah, it's like from the 90s, John. Look at that old fat laptop. Yeah, we all the people life. used to have to deal with. They probably gave you, like, 34 minutes of, like, battery life. 34? You give them a little too much credit. That yeah. thing had like three. <laughs> See, this is all in preparation for the Twister, 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 Twister movie. Twister. That doesn't matter. By the time this comes out, it'll already be on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> By the time this comes out, it'll already be Twister, Twister, Twister. Yeah, it'll be Triple Twister. It'll be Twister. It'll be Twister Cubed. Twister Cubed. Yeah. Help us out, oh, oh! Oh, that's something. We can predict what you think is going to happen on a new one, so... Someone's going to die, someone's going to see a tornado, we'll be I'm going to pick up this game off the ground. It's bugging me. 
Do you think they're still going to be married in the new one, John? Oh, hell no. It's going to be like the second Beetlejuice movie where half the cast isn't there. Well, I mean, to be fair, the one cast character who died was a pedophile, so... What the fuck is Clay Fighter 63 and a third for the Nintendo 64? Um, a lot less expensive than Clay Fighter 63 and a third Sculptor's Cut. I can just tell you. Alright. I was gonna Google it. <laughs> Sculptor's Cut is a limited edition that was like, a, it was like a special edition that was just available for rent at like Blockbuster. So the only way you could get it is if you either got the game and then just, you know, never returned it. Yo. Or you bought it right when Blockbuster was, like, trying to get ready to sell their own stuff. So it's really rare and it's worth probably about, like, $1,000. That one's probably more like, I don't know, eight, ten. Um, but essentially, um, the, the sculptor or the claymation what part of it, or clay fighter, is because they all use, like, claymation characters. That have been like 3D rendered into the N64. And then the 63 and one third is just like a joke that they're doing because it's all the games around that time were like Title 64. Because it was coming out for the N64. And that was just like a way of differentiating um, the new one. Like Mario, Super Mario 64. I like how they thought they could be clever. Yeah, they're making a joke because it's kind of like a kind of comedy. I don't remember if I locked my door. I mean, <laughs> he hears that sound of things. I don't think he's going to rob it, like, this early in the day or right now something in my house. I'm not really messing with my car or anything. I don't know. Let's just lock it now. Yeah, that's fair. Tree! Oh my god, there's ice and there's trees. We have Debris. Yeah. Oh, lawn chair. And that's sometimes what twitchies can do. They just touch down like that and they go away. They're like, I did it! And fucking see. So technically, they don't touch, they're just called a thunder. Uh, funnel uh, cloud. <laughs> what? Hey, you agreed to come, lady. What? What? They didn't really agree to come, she came with him to try to get the divorce papers so they could get married. Yo. And then she just kind of been pulled along for the ride, because she's worried about him and he's trying to get the tornado thing. Uh, under the guise of getting her to sign the divorce paper. Why Bo? Because tornadoes pick things up. But Bo, there's no water! There was water for the other one. Shut up, I forgot! <laughs> Mike? Like, that would break your window. Oh yeah, they're they're they should be dead. Like oh, that no, should not that. even break. Not only break the window, it should have shattered the window. Windows. And oh, it gosh. didn't break it right when it hit. I think it's going to change to where it is broken now. Yo, yeah, it's broken now. Ha! And I saw it like right after, but right when it hit, because it's CGI, it wasn't broken. <laughs> Jesus. This is why I use practical effects. Oh shit! Then nothing exploded. <laughs> no, right? It didn't really hit anything. Right? What could it have possibly hit to create a fire explosion? Like, I would get, like, you know... Uh, probably, like, a propane tank by a house, I guess is what they're trying to mine for. It had to be. Like, this I get. Like, yeah. blowing up the fucking telephone poles? I they get really that shit. It's a lot of propane, but it's Whee! just like a cool effect that they did trying to do. That is really not straight. That was some distorted-ass wood. Yeah. That is probably, like, a lot smaller than what it looks for. <laughs> Oh no, we won't be all of our balls! Like, John, we lost our balls, man! No. And what, now the twister's gone. What really happened is their balls dropped. <laughs> their balls dropped. <laughs> John, their balls dropped. See, like, not considering the tornado completely... Di oh, the sun's out. Okay, cool, great. Not considering the fact that the tornado just, like, dissipated, but couldn't they have just left it on the ground and let it just get picked up? And it would accomplish the same result as what leave they're trying to do. Down. Like, just leave 
just like take the thing off the big thing off the back of the truck. Well, that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to take it off the truck, but uh, but even when it fell, they could just let it sit that is, there. That is, you know what? That is true. I haven't really considered it. That I don't really get what the giant device, like the the cylinder, is supposed to do. It's just supposed because to hold just, the balls. Yeah, it's just a point. Yeah, it's just a way to try to hold the balls to get it up into the twister and like let go as like a. a a way to disperse them. Yeah. But like but you can leave you know, your shit on. Yeah, you can put them in like you can put them in like a box and then just open the box and put them there and then just have the device in the back of it. Also, shouldn't they get information? Yo, the bike is there! Yeah, I know, right? Shouldn't they get information when this twister goes over the road? Because even though it like fell over, they're going into our, a tornado. Yeah. So those little balls, should, if they get picked up, should give you some data. Additional fun and consistency. There was a fucking telephone pole on the back of that truck. I also think that the uh, bike has moved slightly. Yeah, the bike's in the scene. Now there's some dumb cylindrical tank shit on the side. Is it your demon? It doesn't really come after you. It's just like, you know, wind. And because they're small, they don't like destroy everything. Yo, straight up, the tornado is her sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> Gonna twist the her. The tornado is her early onset menopause. <laughs> oh, no, it's touching down. Oh, you know what? I think maybe the tornado might just be his penis. Good morning. Fucking the tornado! You're the therapist. Yeah, right. A fucking tornado! Oh! And now she doesn't love him anymore. She said, alright, he cheated on me. You know, I was just realizing that, he, that Joe still loves her. He was like, "Oh, they're still in love. I'm gonna like sit aside and not be like a vindictive bitch. Like I would be in a more modern movie." Oh, so, now there's the dent from the telephone pole. And now their uh, their front's completely healed. Look, yeah. look at it. You yeah. see? You see the lack of a brokenness? Brokenness? Yeah. I'm surprised brokenness. I could see anything from that far away. But <laughs> now. If they go, like, to the immediate next scene, and the truck is there, and the windshield isn't fucking broken anymore, I call bullshit. <laughs> I call malarkey, sir. I call malarkey! I call my dad! He's like, oh my god, look, it's red <gasps> and green. It's Christmas! Damn it, you beat me to it. I didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> oh, and now we got the fucking, uh, the other movie I forget the name of. Yeah, that one. The Shining. Have yeah. you seen The Shining? No. Oh, we can do the shining. Uh, Put in the comments the shining. If you made it this far, you want to see the shining. Yeah, tell me what movie I need to watch. Spoiler: I've seen none of them, so there the options are grand. Come and play with us, Danny. Fuck it, no. I don't want it. Yeah, we should go watch like the Golden Child. The one guy wanted us to watch like three years ago. Huh? The Golden Child with uh, Eddie Murphy. What the hell is that? Somebody left a comment like three years ago saying uh, saying we did a good job and we need to put in like when to start it and like not make fun of the way people look and say, oh, by the way, I want you to do the golden child. And I think I bought the golden child. It's around here somewhere. Apologies for not watching the golden child. Uh, a lot of life has happened. We'll a lot of life. Way. Yeah. So, uh... We'll get there. Promise. We'll get there eventually. But yeah, I've seen like maybe ten movies in my lifetime. So uh, and like Mar- all the Marvel ones, I think. Right? Well, all Harry Potter and all Marvel. And I've then... only seen up to Endgame now. There's so much shit yeah, that came yeah. out after that I have nothing not. Nothing came out after Endgame. Nothing came out after Endgame besides uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three. Well, no, uh... Oh. No, no, no. Besides Guardians of the Galaxy 3, nothing came out after Endgame. Well, Doctor there, Strange 2 No, is no, no, no. There are, there are no more movies after Endgame besides Guardians of the Galaxy 3. 
I'm not, I'm not understanding the joke. This is okay. <laughs> the joke is that the movies are when, th- when something is bad, you pretend like it doesn't exist. Like, uh, you know, it's really sad that we only got one Mass Effect and no sequels. I thought Far From Home was good. Or No Way Home, that's it. No, the Spider-Man movies are kind of technically separate. No, they're in the Marvel. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of the anime ones. Yeah. Um, they are there. The Tom Holland movies are in canon. Yeah, that's true as well. We can include those. They also happen. I have seen those. Yeah, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness happens after the fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that would happen. Because, you know, spoilers, Scarlet Witch just, like, destroys Jean-Luc Picard. Yeah, yeah. Or Patrick Stewart. That's his actual name. I keep calling him Picard. John Luke Picard. Yeah, I keep calling him Picard. John Luke Pickard. Yeah, Pickard. Or Professor X, you know, as he's actually in there. And then the one guy from The Office that I always forget his name is Jim. Jim was, um, oh, God, I think he was Mr. Fantastic in it, I want to say. Uh, and then he got, like, fucked movies. up. <laughs> he got spread out like silly string. Oh, yeah, he got split up. Yeah. One dude got his head impacted, just blew half of it. Spoilers for that movie, by the way. Hey, yo. Dude, it's, like, two years old. Uh, but that's when we... Yeah, were... yeah. Oh, is, that movie's two years old. The man says not seeing a major blockbuster movie, Twister, that came out in 1996. Bro, this is like my brand at this point. <laughs> my brand! My brand! <laughs> um, yeah, but Multiverse of Madness was also where my dear wife and I learned we need to know if the movie is about children. <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. And that's why we're not watching t- uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's not children, but it's also children. It is also children. And maybe I will show you the arrival, even though the arrival is pretty good. So I like how this says 551, right? 551. That was yeah. wrong. I, I don't know how to change... I don't have the remote for that uh, VCR, so I don't know how to change it for it to be correct. And this one over here... It's 8.03. Yeah, that's the correct time. Jesus Christ. It's already 8 o'clock. What happened? Uh, you got here at 5.30 and you talked for an hour? Bro, that was more than an hour. We've been recording now. It's a minute and 12, or an hour and 12 minutes into this movie. So we figure that's like, what the fuck would that be? 7.45, just about. Give or take a few minutes. Bro, what were we doing? Dude, so you left at like 5.30, you got over here at 5.45. Yeah, and then we chatted for two and hours. And to like, to, yeah. We had a schedule. <laughs> this is why you when cannot we have... It, when we do it more often, we'll probably talk less. <laughs> at that point, I'd be like, alright, fucking... Yeah. No, this is why you can't have two ADD people doing a YouTube channel. <laughs> Because we'll talk about getting it started two and a half hours ago, <laughs> and then sit here and talk about One Piece for two hours. Uh, that's true. We're talking, we we had to discuss the final points of One Piece because I forget. Yo, I'll sit in a video for like an hour and just chat about One Piece. I don't care. <laughs> Watch me do it. This is what we can do if we ever get bored. <laughs> or if a game breaks, we'll talk about One Piece. Oh no, a game's broken. Oh, uh, game crash. Talk about other shit for an hour. Right, there we go. Box. Yeah. Slim Optical Drive. It's a Blu-ray to, or po- and possibly a... Ugh. Look. Let's get the split right when he breaks the door. See, that is false. Because all of them bitches should have been swept away by now. Well, yeah. No, to be fair, it's like big and they're lower to the ground. So it could be that because of how it is, it's because it's like a big wall essentially, that it could get pulled down. And also, oh, drive in. He threw her ass into that building. You're gonna die, nerd! That'd be fun to go to, go to a drive a drive in again. If they even exist. They do. They're a little far away, and you kind of have to go, like, right at night. Yeah. Like, nine or so, nine-ish is kind of when they start. Like, they usually have, like, two, and they're usually, like, you know, fairly cheap. Hmm. If this is a common, like, event in Oklahoma... Oh! That person got glass shards to the face. 
or in this case, really soft plastic. I was going to say, ain't no way they're fine if that's like a real event. Oh, one of the roof panels is gone. Yeah. Oh, there goes another. Well, that one fell. Oh no, our manager! <laughs> I love the camera work. Quick, move the camera at an erratic angle. That might have been a cut in between that, to be fair. But it was like a straight motion down. Well, yeah, but you can also do, like, do this and then cut it and make it look good enough to where you cut away from the miniature into, like, the actual, like, subject. What the fuck is it? Oh, okay. It's like some air hose going crazy. Oh. Oh, okay, there's some blood. We got some blood going. Yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> you think that people in Oklahoma will be a lot more like prepared for like a tornado? What the shit, car? All right. Oh my god! Oh no, my Volkswagen! Look at that side. A Volkswagen? Yeah, that was the the, the Volkswagen, wasn't it? The, the one that crashed the into the station wagon. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> I was about to make fun of, like, the side paneling being wood. He's like, look at the Volkswagen. I'm look like, at the Volkswagen. that was not made in Germany. Bro, I don't know car. <laughs> I don't know car like I don't know movie. Alexi. Oh, everything's dead now. Well, the lights are still working. How? Uh, generator. My knees were shaking on my butt. Why are you watching TV and reading a book? Bro, I do that. I look on my phone and watch TV. I'm, yeah, but we're not paying attention to the TV. It kind of was. Look, her art. <laughs> my art installation that also serves as a tornado machine. Dog whimper. I don't know the dog made a sound. I think that was ADR. I like how she's like, Oh, fuck. My art installations are noising. Is it really complicated, uh, like, music, but it's also getting loud to warn like, oh my god, it's a whisper. It's Even though it should fucking be going on the fucking TV. Yeah. Like, hey, random storm, you might want to be careful. We interrupt this program to inform you you're going to die. Like, really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck this drive-in. It's gone now. It's dead. There's a leaf in her hair. She's like, I don't believe this. I'm going home. You realize, oh, home. you realize at any point she could have been like, take me home. I want to go home now. She could have also like stayed back at grandma's place. She could have. But she ain't doing it. Something's keeping her here. It ain't the main dude. Down grass and micro bursts. The hell it is! Oh no, not Grandma! Oh no, Grandma! What are you gonna do? Stop the tornado? I'm gonna drive in the opposite direction! Create counter wind! I gotta call Grandma, tell her tornado coming. Yes! You're breaking up with me right now? We just went through a tornado. What about the divorce papers? Is that no or Joe? No. We both know that. I think only she knew that initially. I think only yeah. 
I'm too afraid I peed a little. I'm actually happy that I'm getting you out of my life because you're a fucking crazy person. <laughs> now you yell at your wife. Go chase that tornado. Billy! Bill, come on, Bill. Stop talking to your ex-girlfriend, fiancé. Come talk to your current girlfriend slash wife. I'll be in California by then. Fuck it. I'm going to Hawaii. Hawaii? I need my way home. Anybody want to give me a ride? I'll suck your dick. Guess how she gets home, John. She doesn't have any money. Her purse got snatched up. Do you remember that scene of the movie? No. The guy gave her like a really messed up like purse thing when they were getting the tire changed. It was early in the movie. Bro, I don't remember that. Look at all the destruction. That was probably like an F two or three. Excuse me. They had a warning. It was the fucking storm. It's missing the fact that there have been tornadoes happening everywhere. Yeah, we've seen, like, what, ten tornadoes today? Yeah, well, I might be technically supposed to be split up. Oh, no, no, a fat woman. But that's okay, her dad's still alive. Oh, my God. She's a fat woman. I don't know if the family's not fat, it's just her. I don't know. She needs to stop eating so much of her cooking while she cooks, I guess. I like how you told me about a comment, like, 20 minutes ago that said, stop joking on people's appearance. And yet, here we are. She's eating too much of her cooking. Yeah, that's fair. What do you mean? <laughs> that's fair criticism. But I'm fat, too, so I can make fun of the fat people. At least they didn't call her, like, you know, an ugly skank or something like that. Here's the thing. The fact that you said that, you thought it. <laughs> you thought about it. I know. I was thinking about something else and you thinking about the next thing we used to. I was thinking about another show that I watched where that would have been the joke on the show. Uh-huh. So that's why I made it. Uh-huh. Well, actually, would have been, at least they didn't call her and then there'd be like a, like a, a like a, a bleep. And then like, I was going, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this our aunt's house? Yeah. The house got hit by a tornado. John, don't you know that when a tornado hits your house, you don't get any damage to, like, the upper floor, but your actual, like, floor falls in? Don't you know how tornadoes work? A tornado comes into your house, opens your door, and knocks out your floor. Now your roof, still intact. Meg is dead. Now the dog's right there. And the dog's alive, she's alive. But Meg is the lady. The dog Meg is, is Moe's. Oh! She's still alive. She's bleeding, though. Of course she's bleeding. A fucking, like, shell fell over. And it's not one of the sheep oh. shells we got at Walmart. That thing's made of wood. Ooh, she got stabbed. She didn't get stabbed. She just got hit in the head. Oh, no, TV. That's a heavy TV, too. That's one of them old TVs. Plugged into the wall. We'll find out. No, oh, you won't. no. Look out. It's a fucking TV. Run, dog. Yeah, see? I think the house is supposedly that it got pushed off the foundation. I think it's what's actually happening. But it's kind of funny. That it looks like the floor's caving in and the roof's not fine. Take my watch. What happened to the TV? I don't know. We never even saw it hit the ground. Wasn't it like right over top of it? Maybe. Get the stretcher. God uh, forbid it has wheels. That, that's fake. There ain't no way the ambulance is going to get there that fast. Ain't no way, dude. Unless I, it was I already been, there. I've been in one of, those situa- one of the simulations before and led the rest of the squad. I mean, essentially, all you can do in, like, really bad situations is give people the warning because at a certain point, you can't go in to help them until everything, like, settles down. All right. People are on their own. <laughs> we even did it, too. We we're just, like, we put in to evacuate this flood area because we literally can't go in there to help you, so you're going to be on your own if you don't leave. Get the dough. We got the dough. Wow, 
Wow. That's why you have insurance, Aunt Meg. When the fuck was something on fire? Uh. Oh, okay. We're having a barbecue. The dog's like, pull my ass down! The dog's like, oh god, oh god, oh god! Yo, they hit Alt F4. <laughs> Delete house. Man. Delete foundation. And unlike in Minecraft, it doesn't flip. Now I have a dog. I mean, they're holding the, the dog is the lady's dog, so they're holding the dog. Oh well, yeah, but I mean, you can't send the dog to the hospital. They have to take the dog. They're going towards the tornado with the dog. Yeah, but you know, there's the there's the lady. She's still here. A fucking warning, lady. Your freaking like outside stuff was going insane. That was your warning. You warned. Oh my god, an F five. <gasps> Only three more years until it would have been an EF five. Oh my Jesus. Do you think the new movie is gonna say EF five, or they're gonna still say F five? Because they think audiences won't know what EF5 is? Or will they be be like a little micro scene explaining that they changed from an F5 to an EF5 system? Yes. Yeah, it probably will be like a small little scene where they explain it really quickly. Bro, I didn't even know what the fuck they were talking about half the time. It's an F5. Yes, it was a plane. I mean, I guess it is true. You are farther up north. You don't really probably you probably don't really get hit by too many tornadoes. No. Unlike here, we get like really weak ones, but it's still something like we could get a tornado. Even so being, it's something to be aware of. Even being like an hour from the coast of North Carolina when I lived there, um, like hurricanes are not tornadoes. They're different. Yeah, but like I had they had no. <laughs> they had nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have in terms of living in a location, I have never lived further down than North Carolina. Look, she knows how to make Dorothy fly. Oh my god! You're gonna give them propellers. Hooray, I have dinner ready after this. Woo, dinner! We're gone, that's right. Hello, Danger. Welcome back. Dooter! I believe this is... Well, no, I guess the last one was the sun was setting, so I think this is day two. Oh, look, oh, Pepsi cans, John. Oh, my gourd. And Band-Aid brand. And duct tape brand. Product placement with duct tape brand. We gotta utilize the Pepsi can. Show them aluminium is really useful sometimes. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, we gave him Pepsi propellers. Yeah, you gave him propellers. Okay, I am a little bit happier. The window is still broken. Oh, okay, good. I didn't notice. Um, oh, no, the dent is there. Okay, I feel better. That is an F5, I think, is what it's supposed to be. After this movie, I'm gonna go home and get some salad. Get some salad? Get some salad. They're already on Dorothy... The four or had the Derby three. I don't know, it died. Oh no, they had Derby three on the bus. Okay, it's Dorothy two and three. Dorothy went back to Narnia. 
It got a little rougher in the streets there. I like how, like, when it fell, falls out of it, like, all the little balls and everything broke. And now they're just, like, dumping them in like it doesn't matter. Yeah, just chuck them in there. You know, God forbid we bend the wings propellers that they have for the Pepsi cans. I like, <laughs> I like how they got a shower and they're so dirty. I mean, yeah. Well, the one girl got a shower. I don't know the rest of them did. That's like the most clean-shaven dude. And then everybody else is just no beard. Oh my god, look at the CGI trees. Oh my god! I also don't think you should get that close to the F5. But what kind of movie would it be if we didn't make unrealistic expectations about people driving into tornadoes? I was just trying to get, like, close to it. This is our, uh, our third attempt. Why don't you just turn on, turn whatever it is, why don't you just keep it on? I don't know, battery life? No! Oh no, it fell down! We still have one more, so movie logic would dictate that this one has to fail again. You're back again! Hey, Dange. Hi, Stinky. Hey, nice, Melly. You're a good girl. Oh, even my cat that smells like shampoo, I'll still call him Stinky. Yeah? Yeah. Oh! Tree! Oh, dodge the tree. Another tree! And now Hell yeah! Fuck them up! Again, why does it matter if they fall over, if they're supposed to get sucked into the tornado? I don't understand. That's what I was saying earlier! Like, yeah. it fell down! Great! Oh, another CGI tree! Here we go! No, that was actually real. Oh, jammed under the car. Here we go. Whee! And look! It's like right there! It's coming over it! Why would it not still work? The tornado is supposed to suck them all up. When do they it get broken regardless? Are we really, like, doing the trope of stuck on tree? I mean, this is probably like a newer trope when it first came out. I like how this is like, alright, we need to build suspense in the movie. What do we do? Get him stuck on a tree. I also like you doing trope stuck on tree when you don't watch movies. I just call everything a trope. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's true, everything kind of is. Sometimes I'm right, gas tanker, okay. Well, no, even if it's like a new thing, it still can be a throw. Yeah. See, this is the one where they're like, get the gas tanker, bring it towards them, make them think they're dying. Oh my god! Gas is going to be so expensive after this! That is entirely false. That shit should have exploded. Yeah, well, it could be empty. Even then, that truck should have been could damaged. Be milk. It said petroleum on the side of it. Yeah, you're right. And what do you mean? There it is. There's the fake explodies. To be fair, it is a lot of harder for gas to explode than what people consider. It kind yeah, of has to have like a spark to it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The metal of like the metal lining of the tanker would scrape against itself with enough force and speed to it from the crash to spark the oh, metal. Oh yeah, the first one it should have like yeah. crushed more. It should have done a lot. Instead, it just kind of... does not have... Uh, tankers does not have that much integrity to them. No, it should have be just... picked up and dropped from that height. Yeah. Instead, it did floaty cylinder and just kind of flew away and then bumped them. It did like a little bump, like a bumper car, and then it flew away. And then it fell back down somehow in front of them, despite the fact that it went behind them. This is like the cyclone thing where it's on both and then one and then three and then one again. No, cyclones are hurricanes in the Pacific and they go the other direction. No, I meant the, the, the river tornadoes that picked up the water. Oh, yeah, I went from one side to the other. Yeah, <laughs> and then it became three and then it became one immediately after. And then it went away. Yeah. Well, the first it, it, went, it went over and it, and it made them wet. <laughs> yeah, I got wetness. Yeah, the waterfalls. They have position, they're jerking it.
Uh, that's the right. Oh, never mind. Huh. Okay. Oh, my God. That guy is going to be very dead. Both of them are. What do you mean, look out? Oh, no! Don't worry, they're both dead. Yo! Wait, wait, wait hold on. Let's see. Let's see, do we get a drop and an explosion? That dog was very old. Whee! You hear it? I hear the whistle. There's no way it would whistle. Yeah, that too. There it is! Fake ass explosion, let's fake go. Fake explosion next to the fake tornado. I like how that was his response. Damn it! A minute ago, you wanted him to die! And he died! He gave you a favor! Watch him be the next one. Or his kid. <laughs> his son is gonna grow up and change tornadoes and be a douchebag just like him. Gorsh? Gorsh. Gorsh. Oh, yep. oh, Gorsh. Gorsh held. Gorsh, Nikki. I hurt myself today. I just realized that, like, all of those tractors are CGI. Yeah, right. Oh, there they go. That looks like a fucking video game from, like, the 90s, my dude. Oh no, they'd be a lot. They'd be a lot more like triangular and stupid. We have debris. It's a whole fucking piece of lawn equipment. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks like a computer game from like the early two thousands. There, like there looks like an XP. It looks like an X, uh, like an XP video game. Again, the glass isn't broken when we go back. It gets hit. It gets broken, and then we go back. The grass, the yeah, grass is still <laughs> broken on the other side. House. Oops. There she goes. House. House. Look at all that bullshit, John. We're driving up the stairs. Look at all that bullshit. That was a miniature. <laughs> the door opened as the truck came through. It was like, oh, excuse me, manners. Well, it's a good thing that we made our house out of paper. Why are they so sweaty? What do you mean we're going in? You're gonna die! Yes. But John, don't re don't forget though. What the fuck are we on four? Where did they never did, did, did three? Three was the last one. So they, the, they did the first one when they drove into uh, under the bridge. And two was when they got hit by the tricycle. Three was the one we just saw. This uh, is four. I thought one was where they got hit by the tricycle. No, that was two. Ah, uh, fucked up. Because we apparently have to give it another... Every time it falls over, we have to get another one. Yeah. Even though for their budget, they would probably only have the one. I mean, they're all made out of burn cans. Look at that shit. <sighs> Sorry. Oh no, we gotta watch out for the children of the corn! Look, there's nothing around. This is be very important later on. Here's the thing, this is bad for the farmer, because then that creates new truck lines, and then they get real fucked up and they can't climb right. Well, also there's a tornado going over it, so that's probably going to be his main concern. Well, you know what? That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part of it's not real. Them driving in that field is very real. Who's driving? They put it on cruise control, you said. Oh. Bro, I'm like counting. You're like inches away from it. Just jump. Bro, I'm like 33. I still don't know how the fuck the cruise control works on my car. Like, I understand it. You hit I know what it does. And it stays with that uh, amount. And it just keeps going. Yeah, I, like, I know it, but I don't know how to do it in my car. Go, go. You hit the button that says cruise control. What the car doesn't say Oh, look. Cruise they're going control. up. They look like bugs. Yeah, because they put little lane things on them. I don't know if that was, like, necessarily in the core. It was kind of on the outside. Which makes me think that the whole thing, you just had to, like, make it heavy and, like, tie it to something. I don't know. 
Wow. I like how they're like, we did it! Make out! Wait, not part of the movie yet. Wait, gotta wait. Numbers, 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 same numbers. Keep repeating. Okay. That's all their data. Core temperature? Yeah, you know, core temperature, 406, 304. That is shift. It's going to go out the moon! Nope. It's like, it's shifting. <laughs> and I'm like, oh god. I'm sure you can outrun a tornado that goes a lot faster than a human does. <laughs> I mean, for Oh look, the farmhouse that wasn't there a minute ago when we had that giant wide sh uh, shot. Yeah, but now farm. Yeah, now we have this uh, plot contrivance of a farmhouse. Oh my god, the corn is blowing. There's not even corn. CGI. Let's see, farmhouse. You don't want to get a real farmhouse. Horse! What? Why do we need to have the shot of the horse? Uh, I don't know, because oh. they, have, they have to do that. Well, those horses are horse. going to die. Oh, uh, they're just going to run away. Here's the thing. The horses should have known that shit was going to go down, like, The horses should have left, like, a long time ago, yeah. Yeah. But that thing was like out in the distance. Those horses would have been gone. Yeah, exactly. They would have known. They have innate senses to know when shit about to go down. Well, they know they're like outside all the time. They can feel the, the difference. Yeah. And humans just like ignore it because we have a house. They feel the atmospheric pressure and they go, yo, shit about to go down. Let's go. That's why the squirrels always disappear during the hurricane. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you're not the best choice with all the farm increments. Why the fuck were the fences like, oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, who are these people? They're farmers. Yeah, like that. What the shit? We're just throwing fences like daggers now. I think now. this is like coming from the myth like where a hurricane or a tornado could send like a, uh, like, uh, like a straw, like through like a two by four or some shit like that. She's like, I'm gonna die here. Quit looking at it this real way. It's very big and it's very nice. I See, get like, it. At, run away from the wall of death. At this distance, they should have been swept up and killed. Yeah, I mean, it's movie logic. Like, they're in the tornado now, they're dead. Like, well, movie's yeah, over. You can see where, where they're at versus where all the debris is. They're like, oh no, we're still on the outside edges. Like, those are like... 300, three, they're like, you know, upper 200, upper 300 mile per hour winds. You see the, the threshing that went by? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was just an excuse for him to reach for butt. That was, that was like, the, 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 like, oh, we have to get, get, uh, go down. Help her up, touch. Butt, butt, butt. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, a lock, our one weakness. Oh no. Open it, you freak! The lock it does nothing. Oh, hey, look, convenient pole. Well, it's a pipe. Ah, uh, why did I say pole? Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. These pipes go at least 30 feet down. Bam! It's not that the wind is blowing, it's uh. what the wind is blowing. Whee! Also dead. <laughs> yeah, they should be dead here. I mean, it's like, oh, we're not going to get swept away by the tornado, but it's going over top of them, and, like, that debris would kill them, that debris would kill them, that debris would kill them, all that debris kills you! The force of the wind alone, and then getting janked up by it would kill them. I'm pretty sure, like, you know, that small stuff is probably going to be kind of like a, uh, a sandblaster. Yeah, pretty much. You're going to have, like, your skin ripped off by that. No, but then we can't get these flashing lights and dumb shit going. 
Like, look at what is this? It's like a, a small, like internal, like whirlwind inside of the heart of the tornado. It's like spinning a rope inside of a jar, and you're like, ooh, look at the rope, <laughs> like that. Hey, uh, what, we just need to just see pointy boots. It would just be a cyclone. The same. It, it's going to do the same thing that it does when you're washing the water, drain out of your bathtub, and you go shh where with the, your finger. Where the fuck did that other house come from? The same way that the magical farmhouse came from. See, now it's gone, and it dissipates, and now it's dropping all of the very small debris that before was like huge chunks of like everything. Yeah, and now house exists. Uh, the house is a little bit fucked up, but the barn's gone. Oh! Look, the farmers! Oh, this is a different place. Okay, that was never explained. I think it's supposed to be like the same place, but like the family that lives there. Those are the people you have on the sharp implements. See, they actually have a shelter that's not too far away from the house that they can actually shut, and the horses are fine. You don't have to worry about the horses anymore. Oh, okay. Well, there they go. Fuck them. And their house is... The barns are dead, and the fields are fucked up. You have some assholes running through the fields. Also, your water main seems to be broken. Yeah. Are you okay? Did we die? Bro, he's like about to just be like, hey, let's do it. We survived a hurricane. Yep, hurricane. Like, the sun is out. It didn't take the house. It <laughs> fucked up the house pretty good, though. And also, that is not really what an F5 typically does. If an F5 was that close, that house would be gone. There are so many inconsistencies. No. No. Like you. <laughs> yes, so much to do, like her. You do? <laughs> now it's funny. Oh, we're having an argument while getting pelted with water. Hey, it finally rained at least. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, check out this obvious green screen behind me. Yo. And they're like, alright, fuck it, ignore him. Yeah! Oh, oh that other guy fell down. dog's still there. That's a different dog. <laughs> this, the, the dog that was in the car was much older because his face was white. Yeah, they probably had to change it out for like different scenes. Directed by Jan DeBunt. Jan DeBunt. Written by Michael Crichton. Oh, Michael Crichton. He also did Jurassic Park. Man oh, there's busy. the barn. I guess that's what it's supposed to do. But like legit, the uh, the the hurt the tornado from Boulder, Oklahoma. Even like years later, you can still track like where it went, which I guess is what that other place was. So I guess it's supposed to like it ended like right over there. That ground is ugly. Yeah, the ground, I think, is supposed to be the path the tornado took. Yeah, but it looks like it does not belong there. Well, yeah, they probably, it's probably the CGI <laughs> like, of, like, the actual plane. Dude, they slapped a ground band-aid on it. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah. I like how all the trees over there are fine. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Well, they're except lucky, for... and, their farm, and their actual farm is on the other side of the road. I like it was somebody else's farm that got fucked up. I like how if you see this in the movie theater, you just see sweeping shots of skies and half tornadoes and shit, and you're like, I'm going home now! I've accomplished my goal for the day! Louis Smith! Oh, I thought it was Lois Smith. Louis? I don't know. But there would be a U in it. Philip Seymour! Philip Seymour Hoffman? Yeah. No. Like Seymour Fry. <laughs> I also like how the, the clouds are like the exact same clouds from the Columbia logo. All right. <laughs> and this big bush shit. Uh, look at all these cool clouds we can do. Look at all these sweeping shots of sky. <laughs> Dude, Bud Car. Oh my god, Bud Car. Playing Solomon. Brian Weiss. Peter Schmidt. 
You already found out what the college was, right? Yeah, Muskegee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nick Rogers. Or Muskegee, I guess. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Muskegee Airfield. See, like, when you see, like, American-made films, their names aren't as funny. They got some funny ones in there. Well, yeah, but then you got, What's like... What's the only one you see that wasn't American that was funny? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I watch foreign films, I thought, but you don't even watch American films, my guy. I thought we watched one foreign film. Um, unless you're considering Godzilla a foreign film, I don't no. think so. No. Swing gang! <laughs> I don't remember. Should I show John Pink Flamingos? What the hell is Pink Flamingos? Uh, it is... Besides, like, the actual thing that it is. Yeah, Pink Flamingos is a movie. Oh. It's a John Waters movie. I don't know. What I did find out is flamingos are naturally white. Yeah, they, it's because they eat the krill. Yeah, they eat the krill. Fun fact, there are pink. more plastic flamingos in America than they are regular flamingos. I believe it. And also the guy who made the flamingo ar- uh, lawn ornament made like a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Best boy grip! That costume or post production supervisor. Special foreman. Steven, Steven Hunter Flick. Yeah. Nicholas von Lupencorda. Are you so, talking about like those, that anthology uh, that we saw? Because that's like the only thing I think that could have been seen in foreign. And that was with, uh, Jesus with his, like, uh, spike fish killing zombies. Oh, yeah, that was it. That was, like, the only one. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to think about it. I never showed you a foreign film. And that's more like a, a short with a whole bunch of other stuff added to it. Oh, you know, who's the fuck? Oh, look, Joey was played by Joey. Yo, Joey. It's kind of funny. The Don't communicator, see. Patrick. No, my name is Patrick. Joe, five years old. Alexa Vega. I wonder if she's still an actor. Farm girl. Helicopter pilot. And Bill Young's driving team. Yeah. Special effects and animation by Industrial Light and Magic. A division of Lucas Digital Limited, Marin County, California. <laughs> and now it's Disney. Yo, digital tornado designers. Get yeah, better tornadoes, those. nerd. Oh, uh, no. I want to know who did the shitty, like, farm equipment. The shitty. Ah, uh, that, yeah, the yeah, CGI. Yeah, the one at the equipment. end, the CGI farm equipment at the end. I don't think they're going to get it. Who kept making the window not broken? Computer graphics, camera matchovers. I'll be amazed. I don't think Most they would. Like, I don't think they would get that specific into the credits. They would just list it as, like, computer graphics production. Oh, yeah, they would. <laughs> You know what, well, Amanda like Montgomery? Time, the tornado effects are like really good. Yeah. It was groundbreaking at the time. I remember just making fun of it because it's older now. Yeah. But uh, that's probably why they specifically listed those. Yo, Mazda Motor of America Incorporated. Screen graphics technology provided by American Humane No Animals Were Harmed. Yep. Okay. And we should thank state and governor of Oklahoma. Uh, I don't see... Iowa. I don't see... Yeah, oh, yeah, Channel 9. So they were in Iowa and Oklahoma. Okay. Oh, yeah, at least they're in Oklahoma. I used to kind of have to be to be the highlight that area. Hmm. West Ed Scene coming back. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Virtual Reality. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, nice. Child in Time, Oklahoma. Yeah, fair. Long Way Journey. Misty Edge. Broken. (laughs) Yo, that's me! Human being? Broken. Oh, I think you were, you were a human being. No, that's humans being. Yeah, humans being broken. Yeah! <laughs> Love affair. Respect, respect the, the wind. wind. Hey, fuck that, I ain't respecting no jam, wind. Jam, clip courtesy of ABC Cable International Broadcast. Color by Technicolor. Ah, uh, yeah, Technicolor is still a thing I got. There it is, 1996 Warner Brothers! Oh my god, this wasn't real? I want my money back. Well, fuck, are you telling me I didn't just watch two men die by impaling and then exploding? Well, Rude. one man died by impaling, the other man died in the explosion. 
But then he also, you know, got exploded. Yeah, and Amblin. Yeah, Amblin Entertainment. Every time I see Amblin, I, still want to, I just want to call it Ella Andy. Because that's not correct. But that's the movie. Yeah, that was the movie. That was a movie. Mm-hmm. John, what did you think of Twister? I should really just start giving Night of the Demon. I'm going to pretend like I didn't see that. Um, I'm going to just give these movies, like, one or two words or, like, a sentence at the end of these. That's fine. You can do whatever you want. I'm trying not to do with the whole star system because it doesn't really... How you get, like, a bunch of, like, threes and fours? And oh, we and ain't doing... If we were going to do, like, a numeric... If we were going to do, like, a numerical rating for this, this would be poorly made tornado out of ten. Like, that's essentially where that would go. But my rating of this is poorly made tornado. But at the time, it was a really good made tornado. But here's the thing. I didn't watch it then. You watched it now? I watched it now. So what you're saying is that you're spoiled. Yeah. Do you think it was too slow like you did Jurassic Park at the time? No. Okay. Here's the thing. The pacing doesn't make any fucking sense. Tornado. No, not tornado. But hey, look, two tornadoes, but now there's no tornado. I get that tornadoes are kind of chaotic and how they move, but yeah, it's kind of weird where it's just like, tornado, now two, and now on this side, and now back on this side, and we keep going over water. And even the end with the last tornado, ain't no fucking way the sky turns black as night, massive shit hits the ground, and then as soon as it's a matter of convenience and they're safe from it, it just all of a sudden. Yeah, it, it would, like, dissipate, but it would probably still be, like, a storm, and then later on it would go. Yeah. Because you can, like, go for, you can be fairly quick from, like, light, dark, storm, and then, like, around the time the storm is breaking, there's still a light behind it. But I don't think you're going to go from, like, you know, an F5, the strongest tornado that there is. To just, hey, look, the sun's just, out. like, the sun is now out. And so, also, I still call bullshit on a tornado hitting that late. I was like, it's possible that it technically could, but for the most part, it's, you're, everybody's not going to be, like, asleep at that time. A little girl, sure, but not, but you're going to be a little bit more prepared, I think. Yeah. And also, like, I get that we don't have, like, the best warning system back in the day, but we could still probably say, hey, guys, we're going to have like, a storm system, and we live in fucking Prano Alley, so there could be a fucking tornado be on your guard. Don't go see a fucking movie. Yeah. No. Idiots. So, hey, yeah. Uh, and another thing, why are you going to go see a movie when they're calling for rain? Because they don't. Yeah, is it right? Well, of course, there was no rain. There was never rain. It's just a fucking tornado. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I guess... Can happen sometimes, but I'm like, there was no rain at all. Not this many times. The tornado can be like off to the side of the edge, maybe, and not have a lot of rain. Or it could be so hot that you don't have enough rain. But there, I give this movie a I want more rain, damn it, out of five. Out of five. I want more rain, goddammit. Now, the real question though, John. Is do you think the new Twister is going to have better graphics or worse graphics than this one? Worse. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably going to be worse. It's and be with, like, this isn't. It's not even going to be like, oh, this kind of fun. The graphics look like it's from like an old computer game. It's going to be, oh, ew, you spent like a billion dollars and you kept changing everything until the last second. So everything looks like shit because your fucking CGI artist can't render anything fast enough. It sounds like that came from a dark place. Well, essentially, movie studios keep moving things away uh, around, and they keep changing everything. But it takes time to render stuff and to make it look good, which is why everything looks like shit. Because they don't give people enough time to do what they need to do. So when they render it, it looks bad. When you look at a bad movie that has bad CGI, it's just because they're kind of inept, or they have like a really low budget, or they just don't really care that much about the effects. It's more about the ad campaign trying to get dumb people to buy and are now watch the movie. Thanks for watching with us. Thanks for watching this episode of Twister. Making my friend watch a movie he hasn't seen before. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell John he's a nerd. Yay. Look at that. Oh, we were 32 seconds off from exactly two hours. Boo! Well, I had to cut some from the beginning. Good. Exactly two hours. Cut 30 seconds only.